everyone. My name is Kai Zhong Huang, and what I present today is a GSM-based field mon monitoring system for Spodotera Natura, and I'm from National Taiwan University. And this is my outline of every day, like this today. The first, the introduction and material and the thought method. Result and discussion and summary and conclusions. Introduction. Uh, in, in fact, that are serious problem to Taiwan agriculture. Uh, the average damage caused by the pets of failed crop was about 40% of the total crop damage. And I the picture. Uh, that the box will eat our, um, our, uh, our, our things. And kind of kind of bug, the spot of Terra Lutena is an anobius that's worthwhile. And like the economical plants and flowers, fruit trees, plants and vegetables. Will, will be attacked by this this bug. So so we we find some way to to know how much they are. So so this research uh, is going to um, put many station in 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 place in Taiwan and. This station will have some sensors, like the soil moisture and the weather station. And you can know the temperature, and they will have the GPS, and most important, they will have a, um, the, they, they can count in the bug in that place. And uh, the energy is the solar panels. And they have a battery, and the most important too, the communi communication with with the center is by the GSM. Uh, and what is the G GSM? That is a describable protocols for a second generation digital cellular network used by mo mobile phones. Just like uh, you use the cell phone and you can send a message. So this research will, the station get the, uh, the sensors, sensors um, information and it will send back to the center by the message. And this, okay. Okay, and this is the way that the, the system count the bug. Uh, at the left side, okay. Because if we just use one sensor and we don't know that if that box is going type go inside to the box or uh, go out from the box, so we use two sensors. By the left side, the bug will will touch touch the sensor one first and touch the sensor two second. So we will know that it is uh, going to the box and. If the bug uh, go inside and go outside by the right side, then the sensor, uh, the system won't count this, um, this count. Yes. Okay, and this is the result. Uh, result. Uh, uh, the after the sensors get the message. Uh, after the sensor, censoring the information, and the system might have the eight second delay uh, that the center can get a message. So this is very quick. Yeah. Done. Okay. And this is this is the successful data receiving rate of the proposed monitoring system. And as you can see the the right side that is the um Mm. It's the person, per, person that that mm, 
receive is okay. And you can see the these three numbers is very low because the, because of the two reasons. Uh, and in these three months, the the sun is uh, that is the rainy day, so the sun is very less. So the solar system can't get energy. So we we have no energy, so can't receive this the data back. And uh, and it, in that season, there are four typhoons. Typhoons. So it is it is difficult for us to send back the message. Okay, and this is the liner regression analysis of the past counting. This is the system counting, and this is counting by the people. So we can see the people counting and the system counting is uh, they have uh, the R squares is very close. So that system can can, can help people counting. Okay. And this is the summary. The study has developed a real-time automatic monitoring system for spodopteron lutenol. And the second one, the system consumes less power and equipped with solar panels, achieved the goal of long-term monitoring. The third one, the system can efficient, efficient effectivity reduce the resource required by traditional monetary method and improve the efficiency of existing pest control screens. Okay. And this is my presentation. Thank you. Okay. 
and that bubble will come inside. Yes. So, thank you. Any more questions? Please. Uh, according to the previous question, uh, if you use the hormone as a uh, like uh, uh, kick the in the box uh, in, into the sensors, but the the machine is not um, distribution evenly in the field. So if this counting can uh, uh, prove or not because the uh, counting machine and the field. Is it good enough? Maybe we can see the last, last uh, this that it is very, very it is near with with people counting. Yeah. Yeah. Um, my, my question is uh, because you only count the machine, but the machine is not di uh, dis distribute distri distribute evenly in the field. So only one corner or a little space you can you put this. Machine or you put several spot. Several stop spot in Taiwan. But uh, in this, but uh, it will put they will put many spot in Taiwan in future. But now in this research, they just to put to for research. Yeah, because uh, sometimes the the, the machine with the hormone will increase the. The, the number of the bus because of uh, attract the bus in, into the sensor. But in other other area of the field, there are no, no this kind of sensor, the, the hormone sensor, so and the hormone machine. So maybe another spot is the, the bus won't go there without the hormone attraction. Maybe, maybe they will try, try that. Uh, it really will let the bus be. Uh, I could put some comment for uh, this work. Uh, basically, uh, the design of the system is not to kill or to uh, catch uh, the insects. The uh, many uh, this work is trying to monitor the population of insects uh, to predict uh, is there any kind of <coughs> uh, like a storm of the, uh, uh, that, uh, the, the, the insect will come up to this area. So what they're trying to do, just uh, as mentioned, use hormone in the clouds and attract, attract the uh, female, uh, male, uh, male insect into the box. Uh, although the system, uh, you see there here, the, the, the insect footage is count. What do we want to count how many of them? Track. So this, another, study uh, is the uh, calculation of the population by either the behavior of the insects or sometimes just mentioned by Dr. Yu that, uh, 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 for example, in this, uh, I think you put this in a Wunsan tea, uh, tea, tea station, right? Yes. It's a tea station. And so uh, only two uh, stations, only two like that and may not be enough and but this this for trial and so currently I know they already set up probably more than 30 uh, stations around in, uh, in Taiwan and so uh, gradually they will set up more stations like this to uh, give the data uh, I mean from different part of the, the Taiwan and so uh, this is the major uh, objective of the study. So to try to predict, try to develop a prediction model of the insects. Okay. So any more comments? Okay, any questions or comments from uh, Japan?
it will be possible to count uh, what will be the number of count. Okay. Um, we can know, know this part is going side or ground side by uh, just like this picture. Where the two sensors can uh, can know yes. uh, if if they are, they are go outside and they will uh, this sensor will first and this sensor will second find that so so I think it it can know that if this part is going inside or it didn't go inside. Okay, thank you. Any more questions? Uh, 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 sorry, can you open the slide number nine? Okay. This one? Yes. Okay, so for this one, uh, the problem, I mean, the one with the red box, you say that the problem is not the mass solar energy. And that I know the decisions are just not broken. Those. Uh, for I mean, like for the and uh, do you have any problem with using the GSM, the GSM network for sending the data from the field to the to your main server? I mean, like I want to know uh, what is the problem? Why the counting is really, uh, going down? Because the counting is going down. I'm thinking that maybe uh, the reason why is that because when the system trying to send the data to the main server, because of the I mean like because of uh, there's no some kind of like buffer inside the system, uh, the system doesn't have a local uh, local counting data. I mean like uh, I mean. Uh, so the system code one in example, and it store the data inside the local buffer, or it straight away send the data to the DSM. So uh, I mean, that's my question. Do you get it? Okay. Um, this system is trying to use the low uh, low energy to do what they are doing, and the most uh, can't send back the message. The reason is the energy is not enough. So so the raining or the typhoon will let the energy enough and they can send send back the, the message. Uh, the, question, the question is uh, the problem with GSM is any problem with the GS, GSM system? Uh, no, no. Any problem? GSM. This is the used by as uh, yes. uh, one build for sales. Yes. yes. Is there any problem? Could, uh, you say uh, not as enough solar energy or a high phone cause the problem, mm -hmm. but could be could any uh, <coughs> that could be possible be that uh, the, the problem is caused by GSM uh, okay. malfunction? Oh, um, they mentioned that. Uh, they have tried that if GS, GSM uh, send message is is good or bad, then it is almost 100% to receive the message back if the energy is enough. So the the GSM might be no problem. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Thank you. Any more questions or comments from the Japan? Thank you.